Hi there. In this demonstration, we're going to see how to conduct a hypothesis test for the difference of two proportions um, with the, with the uh, Z distribution. And we're going to do this with Minitab Express. As, as it has been in all of these demonstrations, it is a fast and easy way to um, conduct hypothesis tests. All right, so we'll use our example from chapter 9.3 in the Stevens Think and Do book, right? And in that example, we have some data about rainy weekends at Acadia National Park in the summer of 2012. And what we have here are the number of days with rain um, on weekends. There were 19 days with rain on weekends and 29 days with rain that were weekdays. Um, but of course, the number of weekends and the number of weekdays is different. So there's 36 weekend days and 85 weekday days. And so what we're wondering, and if, and if you look at these actual sample proportions, you can see we had about 52% of the weekend days were rainy and only about 34% of the weekday days were rainy. And we're asking, is that a significant difference? Is that a difference that is so large that it is unlikely to do uh, to be a result of random variation, right? Okay, so to do this in Minitab Express, easy stuff. We go over to um, our window. If we're on the Home tab, you want to click over to Statistics. This is a two sample situation, and it is about proportions. Click on that. Uh, we don't have any data, right? So we have no column data, but we do have summarized data. So you got to change that over to summarized data, and then it should make sense. We have number of events, number of trials for each sample. And when they say number of events, they're really talking about number of successes, right? In this case, uh, let's see, a rainy day is success. So the number of events for sample one is 19. So we had 19 rainy days, or rainy weekend days, over th out of 36 weekend days, right? And then our sample two will be weekdays. And for weekdays, we have 29 successes, or 29 rainy weekdays, out of a total of 85 total weekday days. We're going to go to Options. And now notice, we're look at this little line up here. It says difference equals sample one proportion minus sample two. In our case, our sample one proportion is weekends. We're claiming it is bigger than weekdays, the proportion for weekdays. So we are testing that the, um, the difference is greater than zero. We're claiming that the difference weekend proportion minus weekday proportion is positive. Uh, you don't have to worry about the confidence level unless you're interested in the resulting confidence interval that you get. Here we're basically interested in the test statistic and the p-value. Here's a very important thing, and it's noted over here in the directions as well. We're going to use the pooled estimate of the proportion, all right? Because the default is um, estimate the proportion separately. And while that's perfectly valid and probably more accurate, um, we want to use the pooled estimate of the proportion. It's how most textbooks do it. It's how my textbook does it. So we are going to go to use the pooled estimate of the proportion. If you don't, if you forget that, if you switch that over, um, a lot of your answers, well, none of your answers will actually agree with those found in the textbook, in many other textbooks, and probably most importantly for your online homework, the answers will just be wrong every time. So remember to use the pooled estimate of the proportion by switching this menu item from here to here. And once you do that, you're good to go. We come down, and again, we're not going to use the Fisher's exact information. That is a uh, non-parametric test. We're using the normal approximation to the binomial distribution. Um, and so the test statistic is 1.92. That is a z-score. And the p-value is 0 0.0275, right? And so what that means is that we look at our significance level, 
if we have a 0.05 significance level, our p-value over here, 0.0275, is less than the significance level. That means we reject the null hypothesis that the proportions are equal, and we get to say that, yes, the proportion of weekend rainy days was significantly greater than the proportion of weekday rainy days, right? based on this p-value of 0 .07, 0 0.0275. Um, and by the way, all that means is that, that that difference is unlikely to be due by chance. But look, there, there's thousands, millions of locations uh, around the country, around the world, and whenever you check the rainy weekend versus the rainy weekday proportions, in lots of those places, you're going to get you know unusual events. You're going to get weekends that rain more than weekdays, weekdays that rain more than weekends. And so I've seen things on the internet where they actually try to figure out why it rains more on weekends or more on Tuesdays or more on Fridays based on this type of test. And, and the, the point is, just because you have a significant difference in this situation does not mean there's anything strange going on with the weekend and weekdays at uh, Acadia National Park. It's just, you know, it's one place in this case where there was an unusually number of rainy weekend days. Uh, I guess it gives you um, complaining rights. Uh, you know, if you live there, you could say this was a rough summer. Uh, we had a lot of rain on the weekends, an unusually large amount of rain. Um, okay, so that was a little diversion. Doing the test, again, in Mini Tab Express, you go two samples, proportions, you enter the summarized data, number of successes, number of trials, number of successes, number of trials. Go to your options. It's either a two-tailed, left-tailed, or right-tailed test. And remember to switch. Estimate the proportion separately over to use the pooled estimate of the proportion. All right? And that should get you there. Easy, fast, as always. Minitab Express. See you later.